and welcome to Success Talk with Araya McGarry. I'm your host, Araya McGarry, and I'm so excited to bring this show to you because my goal is to help small businesses and entrepreneurs find and get highly successful tools and tips to help their businesses and their ideas soar. And now more than ever, we really need to pull together our resources, our tips, our tricks, and new ways and innovative ways to be successful, because that is going to be key in recovering our entire nation together. Small businesses are the ones going to really suffer maybe the most, but we're going to soar the most. So with that, I am bringing on my very special friend who I knew had answers and strategies that can truly, truly help you. So tune in right now. Don't go anywhere because Amy Walker, the founder of Amy Walker Consulting, is here with me. Welcome, Amy. Hey, Araya. Thanks so much for having me. I so appreciate being here. Well, I we appreciate you because you really do have such good tactical strategies. That's why I picked you first to come on my show to say, please, America needs you. The world needs you because who knows where and where this you know, show will end up when I upload it. Because mm-hmm. you have not just fluff and, and inspiration and prosperity thoughts, which is all great. We need those. You really have tactical ideas. So I want to dig in right now. Tell us just real quick who you are, what you do, and then let's jump right in to some things that can really help the viewers. Yeah, well, I am a small business strategist, and so this is what I do is help business owners figure out how to get, what's the right strategy they should be using right now to get where they want to go. And I will tell you, Araya, business has changed in the last week. It is not business as usual for entrepreneurs and small business owners. And there are, um, you know, there are industries that are just being decimated right now, and they're going to take a while to recover. And when they come back, it's not going to be business as usual. Business is going to change and it's going to adjust. Now I say that because I, I don't want people to bury their head in the sand, not because I want them to be fearful or be hopeless. I want them to come up with a better strategy that will set them up for being successful, Mm -hmm. but I don't want them to just ignore this and go, Oh, I can just ignore it and wait it out. And you know, in in three weeks, uh, it will go back to being business as usual. I don't foresee that. That's not what I'm thinking. I think that consumer behavior is going to change and that this, this might last longer than we want. Right now, the state of California has mandated shutdowns for mm-hmm. three months in the medical, small medical industry. Yeah. And um, they don't qualify for um, their employees that they have to lay off don't qualify for unemployment. They're not covered under the relief bills that are coming out. So they're, you know, this, this isn't a quick little easy thing. It's something that we've really got to make adjustments. And so you have some great ideas. Yeah. I've got three tips that I, I right. want every three areas that I think every business owner needs to be looking at right now. And the first one is that you need to diversify your service. So if you only have one way that you can do service and that way doesn't work right now, you are feeling the pain. So for example, if you're a hairstylist right now, no one's coming to get their hair done. Mm-hmm. Um, you might need to make house calls for a little while. And I know that's not convenient, but if it keeps mm-hmm. cash moving through and it keeps your relationship with your customers and it keeps people loyal, then by all means, go and do it. Amy, I think that's great. Oh, I love that idea of house calls because it's not just going to be for the hairdressers. If you're watching this and you have any kind of service, whether you're a chiropractor or yes. restaurant, you know, that, that to go, not just to go, but you might have to deliver and you weren't doing that. So that, that covers a wide variety of businesses that could think, hmm, maybe I, I can deliver this service. Great idea. Great idea. Absolutely. Um, if you provide any kind of a service where you need to be in people's homes, um, checking things out, like whether you're a realtor or um, a landscaper or a, uh, a plumber or whatever it is, if your business involves you needing to be in the home, you need to be doing virtual consults right now. So for example, a realtor should be, instead of taking your client out to go see 10 houses, you should be sitting down at your computer and you should be doing a virtual consult where you're showing them the houses and you're helping to weed out the ones that they are not interested in so that you can then schedule appointments to go to the ones that they are interested in. Now, here's the thing. Anyone who's ever bought a house and knows how exhausting Mm -hmm. that is, it seems fun for the first three houses. You're like, oh, we got to go look at houses. And then you're like, oh my gosh, how am I so exhausted? All I did today was look at five houses. That's one of those things where if you'll adopt this right now, 
you'll have a higher level service when you come back. So when everyone else in your industry is trying to pick up the pieces, you're already, you already have an added value that's going to set you apart from where everyone else is. Uh, with that, Amy, I, I just think that is a fantastic idea that I think realtors have been doing a little bit of that. I'm not sure because I've seen some like 360s of homes online. Do you feel like that could be like the wave of the future for realtors? I mean, why are we going to all these houses? Show us what we like, negate the ones that I don't even want to see that one, then just go visit your top three and it's less exhausting. What do you think yeah, about the future with this? Less time, less gas. I mean, I, yeah. the thing is we, we're going, the consumer will change. That's what I want everyone to understand. Yeah. It's not just let's wait this out. It's that we as consumers are going to get to the point where we're going to be like, why not? Why go to the store? Why not have everything delivered to my door? Um, why do I need to go to the mo movie? The movie industry, the film industry is going to start releasing um, to our like to our homes. Yep. I'm so excited to watch Mulan from my home. I and do you think that we're going to go back to going to the movie theater the same way that we were when we can have new releases from our house? I just, I want you to understand that the consumer is going to adjust. They are. And plus Netflix had a way where you can do a watch party, where you can watch the Netflix shows with your friends. So in yeah. the midst of this crazy time, which is going to be, you know, uh, some obstacles to overcome and, and bouncing back financially for a lot of businesses. If you can be creative, creative right now and and watch what's happening to the big guys like Netflix doing that and like you say you're making house calls and what's going on what already has been going on on the YouTube and the Instagram with virtual uh, businesses doing uh, fashion shows online and showing the products online that's been going on for years now nothing new I just think more people are gonna hop onto the bandwagon with mm -hmm. that and I think it's, it can be exciting if you think about it like that and Amy you said something before we went on the air and I want you to touch on this you said those of us who get in now on the curve that aren't just considering this, just, it's not vacation time, but sit back, relax. I know a lot of us are homeschooling. Don't just do that. Dig in your heels to your business, recreate it, get new ideas. So what's going to happen when we come out the other end? Amy, tell us what's going to happen to those of us that are on this right now. We'll, we'll have stronger businesses. We'll be ahead of the curve. You know, when you come back in, the client, the businesses who were, they pivoted, they adapted, they innovated, they found ways to continue to connect to clients. It's not just that they, they didn't lose as much money. It's that they innovated and they created a new way that they can interact and do business and they'll be ahead of everybody else because why would you want to go back to the way it was when there's something that's new and there's something that's better? So you've got to figure out your, um, diversify how you provide your service you've also got to figure out how to acquire clients online right now like if you're if you're dependent on networking meetings or door-to-door -door sales or dropping in it's not gonna work you've got to figure out how to acquire your clients online it's going to be essential and then the third um, thing there is that everybody the businesses that I predict that are going to soar through this are the ones with strong digital platforms whether that's YouTube or whether that's Instagram or whether that's Pinterest exactly. or that's um, a blog a blogs are a little out of style a podcast mm -hmm. and so if you don't have a strong digital platform i just recommend that you get one i think this I is agree. the time um i even just this is crazy but my personal youtube channel went up over 1200 views yesterday from wow. what it does on the average day for no reason like I was looking at the al the algorithms, no reason. It, but people are consuming content right now. Yeah. And so it was one video that has a really highly relevant topic for right now, since we're all at home trying to do life with our kids at home too, okay. running business and being at home. And um, that's what the video was about. I made it three months ago and it got shared some, it started getting shared and it is blown up and it's, it's a digital platform that is going to allow people to be able to connect with you, hear you, get a feel for you, know, like, and trust you yep. without having to have that face-to-face -face interaction that we're not going to have for a little while. And, you know, we don't know how long it could be, it could be three weeks, but every time they say three weeks, I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. think so because there are industries that are already being mandated to be shut down for three months. Exactly. So yes, I hope that it's three weeks because, oh my goodness, I have five boys and being all at home and like out being able to get out and do things. It's going to be interesting. But I, I do think that we, um, 
we need to learn and we need to adapt and, and innovate and find better ways to do things. This is one thing I had mentioned to you earlier. The problems that we solved before this did not go away. They still mean? exist. You can still solve those problems. Um, and so if you, you know, Araya, you help people to um, create virtual events, they still need those. That problem didn't go away. You still solve the same problem. Um, I help people with business strategy. They still need business strategy. Whatever problem you solved, I promise people still have it. They might even have it a little bit more. Right. The other thing mm -hmm. that has not changed is your talent, your abilities, the relevancy of what you have to offer, the quality of your product. None of that changed. But the way that we buy and sell has changed and I don't think it's likely to return back. And it's, if it, if it could happen at any point in time, this is the best time to have to go through this. We all wish we did not have to go through this. This sure. is not a snowstorm or snowed in. This is, is serious, but it couldn't happen at a better time because we have technology and we have these social media platforms. Imagine this happening and we had no internet. Imagine this happening in the 80s and the 90s when there was, we couldn't get out information. We couldn't teach online be a whole different ball game. So the fact that I bet there's going to be a lot of people watching this that have been meaning to get into social media, that have been meaning to get their content on YouTube, on Instagram. And this is their opportunity to say, Hey, no time to waste You're home. Get that camera out, get your phone out. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to have a, a in-home studio. You just, your, your camera, natural lighting, go outside. Doesn't matter. You have intellectual property that has value. Get it out there now. Like you're saying, Amy, more people will see it now. Then when this kind of starts coming back around and we start you know, moving around more, they'll still remember you. They'll come back to remember Amy helped them through that bad time. Araya was there to help them learn how to do speaking and events online. Those are your future customers and people that you're gonna bond with and will bond with you now while you have their attention. So don't think perfect. Think, get it done, get out there. Don't wait. And we're here to help them too. So we're not just doing this to throw it out. We're going to have both our contact information. Be, be here, tap into us. We give a lot of free content, especially now as well. So Amy, what else? I know you were talking about some direct sellers. I've got a lot of direct sellers in my community. Give them a tip. And I really love this tip you gave, you were telling me earlier. Direct sellers, you want to be doing virtual product demos. You want to be doing um, unboxing, product unboxing. People I love, love that. Uh, if you're in cosmetics, you want to be doing on, you know, on-screen makeovers. Yes. Um, you just, you want to be pre creating content and putting mm -hmm. it out there. And if you've never seen yourself as a content creator, change that view <laughs> because right now uh, it's just, it's time and, mm -hmm. and you have the ability to do it and you have the tools. I mean, in our, in our phones that we all have is what used to be a you know, five, $6,000 recording studio. And now we have that ability right in the tip of our hands. And so get out there, start creating content. Um, and the other thing is that when there are a lot of people, I'm a part of a group online that's for, it's the boss mom group. And um, there are a lot of people joining it right now that are like, I'm about to get laid off. I'm thinking I might get laid off. What, what can I do from home? Well, direct sales. This is a prime time to be recruiting, but I do want to emphasize this. I cannot emphasize this strongly enough. We need to be selling with sympathy right now and with strategy mm -hmm. because we don't want to appear tone deaf. Some of those responses from direct sellers that I've seen, they feel so um, predatory that like you, here you've got somebody who's in a place of fear and they're just jumping right in and pouncing. And guys, we can do a better job than this. You need to be sympathetic and you need to be strategic, but it is a great time to recruit. It's a great time to start a business because a lot of people will be looking for other ways um, to make income because their plan A might yeah. go. And I think that's with everything, Amy, everything with sympathy and knowing that we're not just going to jump out there, give content, expect people to just buy from us. This is right. a very, you know, a tender time, should I say, but we're out there giving free content, knowing that within time is right, when they do need to buy into us, we'll be there for them. We are not unreasonable in price. We have good value. We give value. And uh, so with that, I want to close with some closing remarks. Amy, I'll let you take it, then I'll close with my remarks. Tell us just how you'd like to leave them with some hope, inspiration, and how to tap into you. You know, um, 
I would love for you all to come and follow me on my YouTube channel. I really am creating a lot of content that's very specific for what your needs are right now. And I release daily. So every day you get new business tips and strategies. So come follow me over there. Amy Walker Consulting, the CEO spot. I would love to see you over there. And then I will just throw this out there. If there are any of you that feel like, you know, your business is kind of falling apart at the seams and you know you need to pivot, I am going to give you my personal cell phone number. And this is real. I've never had anyone abuse this, but um, I'm going to give you my personal cell phone number. Remember, we're going send viral. Me <laughs> send me a text message and let me know um, if I really can be of service to you and, and help you with your strategy. So it's 706-362-7492. Um, and Araya's like, oh, Aim, you just gave your real number. I really did. So, yeah. um, but I, I just feel like I trust, I trust the people enough not to abuse that. And, um, if you, if you need some help, I, I think this is the time to not suffer in silence. It's the time to really reach out and, and connect agree. and, um, support each other as we go through this. It, it's going to be a transition it and I, I feel very hopeful about it. I, I really do. I feel like there's going to be great opportunity. Um, I feel like we're going to be okay. Um, and we just, it's time to innovate. It really is. Amy, thank you so much. And, and boy, you gave out your real number. So, hey, you know, let's see. what I'm interested to see what happens if you need to change that number down the road. But anyway, but I'm so glad that people, people don't even take advantage of it, except like one or two that really need it. That's what always happens. That's right. That's right. And Amy, I'm just so glad to have you in my space, have you as a friend. And I know we're both praying. We're praying women. We know that you know, God has this under control. We don't know why we're going through it, but I see a lot of good happening. Families coming together, family dinners happening several days in a row. I mean, who figured, I mean, who would think of that? But uh, with that, I too, my Rhea McGarry on YouTube, follow me on that. Happy to help. I bring to you great people, great resources, great answers for you. So this is what I love to do. I love to help you create your own events and now your online events and help you look great on TV and, and now virtually. So I'm here to pour into you my media strategies by being on that, that platform. So if you're not sure that, oh my gosh, I don't know how to look on TV or this virtual on YouTube, reach out to me. My YouTube is, is uh, Araya McGarry, but my Instagram is Araya McGarry Productions. So all that'll be in the comments. All that'll be all listed here. We'll get fancy with some taglines. But again, I'm not perfect either. I don't have all the technology, guru, fun things all flashing. All I knew is we needed to hop on here, give you help, give you support, and I want you all to do the same thing. You have gifts and talents the world needs right now. This is your time to jump in, be brave, feel the fear, and do it anyway. Amy, thank you so much. Love you. Mwah. Love you all. We can do this. Together, we all achieve more. Have a great day. Log into us. We're here for you. God bless. Bye for now.